We had pulled into Maryland Avenue. I had heard something that said, we've got them. I lifted my head up over this five feet section, looked down, and I could see that there were people holding them down. The whole thing took less than two minutes. Well, I looked up at some women and I said, I'm pregnant and I've been hit. Uh, they picked me up, got me through the second car and out. I could feel somebody behind in the back of the car with us, you know, walking around. And I was trying to kick him to tell him that I'm underneath the seat, following me. Police emergency 239. Yeah, this is 7-Eleven uh, and Garden City Park. There's an eastbound train on the Mer Maryland Avenue train station right here. There's a guy with a gun. He just shot some people. The train's heading towards Viola. And you say he shot somebody on yes, there? Yes, yes. Can you see the person? No, I can't. I'm, I'm in the store right now. Oh, so you just heard it? Well, there's people coming in with blood on them. About 6-15, uh, I received a page on the beeper. Upon arriving there, we are told basically what happened. The person that did the shooting is already in custody. They're not sure at this point how many are deceased. And we walk to the train, and it's literally the most carnage I've ever seen. One end of the train to the other is strewn with clothing, with uh, briefcases, with shoes, and there are a number of bodies uh, still on the train. It was the 533 train coming out of Penn Station in the height of rush hour, a full train, when apparently, according to what witnesses have told police, a man on the train opened fire. At that point, there were four deceased on the train. Uh, 21 people had been injured to different stages, different amounts, two of whom were clinically dead when they reached the hospital.